now, weather with Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. It has been a soggy start to our work week with waves of rain moving across most of the area. Take a look at the rainfall totals, heaviest to the south, but we got some rain up into uh, central Missouri as well. A quarter of an inch. Uh, this is since midnight in Lake Ozark, a quarter of an inch in Camden and here in Springfield, shy of three quarters of an inch. But the bigger totals were across south central Missouri and in north central and northeast Arkansas, where one to two inches was very common. And this is just rain on top of what has been a very wet winter so far. In fact, this is going to go down as a top 20 winter, uh, wettest winters on record uh, in West Plains. We're running over five inches. This is as of yesterday, and we've added more rain to that over five inches above normal since December the 1st, since the beginning of the winter season here in Springfield, over two and a half inches above normal and even in Joplin about an inch above normal. And again, that's through yesterday, and we've had most of the rain that's occurred with this storm occur today. So those values only going up. Another issue has been the fog. Uh, right now the fog is, is light across most of the area, but you can see we've got these patches where visibilities drop below a mile. And I think as the evening wears on, we will probably find these visibilities worsening. Uh, looks like it may focus along the I-44 corridor once again. Temperatures they've held pretty steady this afternoon, generally in the middle 40s, and I don't expect them to change very much this evening. Now, now after midnight, a cold front's going to move through and we're going to find those temperatures tumbling at that point. Here's a look at the big picture. Yes, wet weather across our area. There's another pocket of storminess back here across the Texas Panhandle. That's going to move into the area after midnight with rain showers. But again, colder air is going to be working in at the same time. So we'll also likely bring a chance at some snow showers as we're moving through sunrise on Tuesday. So there's our storm. Our storm is going to push northeast across the area uh, overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Looks like we get that quick round of showers after midnight, which will transition to some snow showers after sunrise for areas east of Highway 65 and then move out. Clouds will clear out and the area should see the day finish up on a sunny note with temperatures generally in the upper 30s to low 40s, so not too terribly bad for February. Hour by hour forecast looking like this. I think this evening it's primarily going to be very light rain showers or drizzle. Again, there could be some fog after midnight, though, we'll see another round of heavier showers move in and it looks like there will be a batch of light snow on the back side of this and then this will exit on off to the east. We should find clearing skies here in Springfield probably toward noon tomorrow with sunny skies for the afternoon. Clouds are going to take a little bit longer to get out of the area closer to uh, areas like Rolla and Waynesville, but you guys too should wrap up the day with some sunshine. Temperatures by morning uh, dropping to about 31 with an afternoon high tomorrow again a 43, but that's going to come with brisk winds out of the northwest at 10 to 20 miles miles per hour, so still kind of a cold day, but here's some good news for you. We are going to find winds becoming more south to southwesterly by Wednesday. That will hold through Thursday ahead of a cold front. You know what that means, milder weather. Check it out in your seven day forecast near 60 on Wednesday, low 60s on Valentine's Day. And then the cold weather comes back. It looks like it'll be back by Friday. It'll be with us through the weekend and beyond into next week. Now I've got partly cloudy skies in there for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The models very messy there. There's maybe opportunities for some snow flurries or snow showers in there, but the pattern itself looks more likely to produce some snow as we get into early next week. Maybe you can take your sweetheart for a romantic walk on Thursday at 61 <laughs> yeah. for the high ride. Right? Get outside that's, for sure. That's right. not bad. I'll walk by myself. That's yeah. Right. yeah, well, some of us will. How about our viewers club number? <laughs> All right, our viewers club number for tonight is 248-349. Our jackpot is $300. All right, Jamie, thanks. Well, we are showing you a brave effort in the south in the 60s.